IXR Labs induction motor machine module helps students to identify the various parts and understand the internal working of an induction motor. This is the induction motor module which is inside a virtual lab. We can point on the different parts and drag them aside to observe each one of these in detail. Grabbing any part through the controller brings it closer and we can move it around freely and observe it from different angles. No more about each part and its functioning. Let's click on the separate parts option. All the parts are spread across our virtual space and we can see a small description telling us about the induction motor. Clicking on any part brings it closer and a brief description of that part appears. Now let's click on the X-ray view option to see how the different components are positioned inside the induction motor. All the parts are labeled and clicking on any name makes it visible inside the body. We also get to see a small description of that part which tells us about its functioning. To see and understand the internal working of the induction motor, let's click on the show working option. Step 1 tells us about the principle on which the induction motor works, that is electromagnetic induction. In step 2, a three-phase supply is given to the stator in which the conductor is spaced at 120 degrees and then a rotating magnetic field is produced on it. In step 3, the magnetic field rotates as it varies with changes in the positive and negative half cycle of the supply. In step 4, the conductor experiences the relative speed with the stator rotating magnetic field. In step 5, an EMF is induced inside the rotor conductor which enables current to flow inside it. In step 6, a rotating flux is induced inside the conductor due to the current flow. In step 7, an interaction torque is developed when the current carrying conductor is placed inside the magnetic field. In step 8, to reduce the relative speed, the rotor starts to rotate in the direction of the rotating magnetic field. In step 9, if the rotor starts rotating at synchronous speed, then the relative speed will be zero and no EMF will be induced. In step 10, the rotor always rotates at less than a synchronous speed. The frequency of both the rotor EMF and rotor current depends upon the rate of cutting flux by the rotor conductors.